welcome to Lux with Tiffany. So happy that you're here. On today's episode of the home buying series, I'm going to be taking you through two different house styles. One is going to be a house that is for purchase online and the other is new construction. Now my favorite website to use is Zillow. They have the best information up to date. So the best thing you can do is just start searching different areas that you know that you wouldn't be willing to live. Start researching what the price points are, what are the taxes. Zillow is so good for that. So what attracted us to this house was the square footage. The house had such beautiful, beautiful windows. There was so much space. Now, um, this house was also being sold by the owner. So you could see that the photos had a lot of personal items inside, which was okay. Um, this was video from when we got to see it. And as, if you notice here, the ceilings were beautifully high. The kitchen had a lot of space. Now it was a little outdated, but we would be willing to work with that seeing that it would take a little bit of renovation work to actually get it to the standards that we were looking for. Now, as we went to the second floor, we noticed that there was double doors going into the master suite, which was beautiful and different. We hadn't seen that yet, even in the new construction builds. And it was nice to see that the owners had such a pretty master suite. The fact that they invested in decor, they kept it very clean. Even the floors before it being carpet was nice and new looking. So that was appreciated. One added plus about this house was that it had a master bedroom bathroom. And this is definitely saving us 20,000 plus on a new build because with new construction, it's not a given that you get a master bathroom. And a master bathroom can cost 20,000 plus. Now this is outdated, but it has a double sink, shower, and a jacuzzi. So just having this in itself was definitely a plus. As we kept looking, we also liked that there was a bedroom right off to the side of the master suite. So if we had a baby in the future or with Giselle, having her really close to us was going to be a plus. All of the bedrooms were really nice sizes, so we were really happy about that. Another thing that attracted us to this house was the high ceilings and the windows. I mean, this here is a feature that is just you can't put a price tag on having windows like this especially when looking for new construction they just don't offer those options anymore so that was a huge plus now looking at the other bedrooms now this was a four bedroom house this room was definitely outdated but again all it needed was some paint and maybe some carpet but if you look at the view look how beautiful i mean the yard was beautiful greenery you have the view of the mountains so these are the things that just mean so much when looking at different houses. So if we're talking about three reasons why it's beneficial to purchase a house that's for sale, number one is you're gonna have a lot more flexibility in the price. Some uh, sellers are definitely more motivated than others. I know this family had pretty much deserted this house. They moved to another country and were very, very much looking to sell it. Um, so you can work with the realtor to get the price that you really, really want. The second thing that I could really say is that when you purchase a home and you're purchasing the land, you already know what you're getting yourself into as long as it's not associated with an HOA, you own the rights to the land. Um, also with doing renovations, you can have free reign to do whatever other renovations you want. And again, as long as you have the square footage, which you will get probably more bang for your buck in purchasing a house that's for sale, you can do what you like with the space. And the last and final reason why I think it's really smart to purchase a home that's for sale rather than building um, is that you are going to gain equity for every single thing that you do to this house, especially if you're buying with the right price. If you're able to negotiate, see this house needs some work so we can probably get a good price, which means we'll get some more equity in the home. day two we're actually in a model that's being built right now um and we're liking it it's looking really nice Gigi's here with us she's not liking the smell um this one is an area that we really like montgomery county they have um more customized options um i have to get the details on the builder because i forget exactly the builder's name but um so far really liking it the yard is not as big as we'd like 
this is the yard you can build the deck which we probably would definitely like to do but um the finished product we're really really loving a little bit smaller of a house but the modernness of it it really gives you that feel that gets bigger with the high ceilings so wish us luck and so this is the walkthrough of the model home and as you can see after the construction is done everything is brand new and when we start to talk about the pros to purchasing and building the land and building your own home you're the first person to own it this was absolutely perfectly beautiful the kitchen was new construction and um one thing that i can say is there's something special about moving into a home that you know no one has lived in before so that was definitely going to be an added plus to building a home the second thing is you know when you come into purchasing and building a home if you have the money for it why not build the house that you really really love there's nothing wrong with you know putting the money aside especially if it's your dream home get what you want right so that's going to be the second reason why building is going to be a huge huge plus for you and Remember that, you know, this video is really just sharing our experience. You know, I have so many friends that have built houses and absolutely love it. One thing I can say is that they can build houses now in three months. I remember them asking us, um, you know, how fast we wanted the turnaround to be and they can create, go from this wood all the way to a finished house very, very quickly. So that was something that we were really excited about. And, you know, if we're looking at some of the cons um, or the reasons why we did not choose to build on this piece of land um one was that we didn't own the rights to the land so although we were purchasing the lot we could not put a pool or put up the fencing that we would want um the hoa would have been the one to make the ultimate decision decisions on our landscaping and we just weren't happy with that um, and the other reason was we just wanted the square footage to be able to customize our house. So even if that meant that we would be doing some renovation work over time, we wanted to make sure that the square footage was there and to get the size house and the finishes that we would have wanted, it would have been way over our budget. So that's the reasons why we decided not to, but I'm just going back and forth on this video so you can see the before and afters of what your model home can look like and you know there's just so many options with these new construction builds that this is an awesome way to get the house of your dreams